That is so cool. Dude, look at these Pokemon. Nintendo needs to set their game up. Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new Pokemon video. This Pokemon fan game has to have the greatest graphics I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, Nintendo literally can't keep up with this stuff right here because it just looks so amazing. Um, someone actually commented this in my comment section and they left a link. So I got sent to spam and recently I sent my spam and I found this video someone suggested of this game. And really no one's played it yet so I want to be one of the first ones to play this game and showcase it on my channel. It's basically a really HD version of Pokemon Snap. Let's go ahead and jump into the game and see what it's all about. Alright, we are in the world of Pokemon and dude, there is a camera up there. I'm trying to figure out how to focus the lens and stuff. You can focus the camera and take pictures of Pokemon in their natural habitats. Alright, looks like we found an abandoned town and there is just a bunch of Pokemon here. How do I zoom in? That is so cool. Dude, look at these Pokemon. Nintendo needs to set their game up. This is so cool. There's an Eevee. We gotta get that Pokemon. Oh, I took a picture of an Eevee. Now we can use that or something? I have no idea. Oh, there's ghost Pokemon. They're doing like weird stuff to my screen. Oh, there's a Hypno. There's a Hypno. He's trying to do some stuff. All right, we found an Arbok and an Eevee just chilling out here together. That's funny. Is the Arbok going to eat the Eevee? Hope not. It's a Pokemon. Then we can use control to crouch. Yeah, we can crouch down so we can get a better ground view of this Pineco. Phantom, if you're watching, dude, I know you like Pineco and Fortress. We'll take this picture for you. Pineco has now been added to our, our picture decks. This is such a cool thing. Can I like change the... I want to like get um, more fuzzier pictures and stuff. Because you can like change the focus of the lens and everything. It's your boy Ludicolo. I love Ludicolo, dude. Dude, this this Ekans is actually super cute to look at. I want to try to focus on it. Right there, a, that's a really good picture of Ekans. Bro, I think all the Ekans in this game are dead. This one looks extremely dead. What's wrong with him? He's just like stuck and he's just staying in one stance. I feel like I'm Team Rocket stalking this Pikachu right now. Dude, that is so cool to look at. Look how beautiful that is, though. Take a picture of that Pikachu, dude. Put him in the Pokedex. But for real, though, why can't someone make a Pokemon game like this? It just looks so good, dude. Just Someone needs to make a Pokemon game that looks realistic like this, first person, and you can battle, but still do like the traditional battles, you know what I'm saying? This might remind you a lot of Pokemon 3D MMO Online or whatever, but it's it just looks a lot smoother and the Pokemon fit in the world a lot better. There's an Ekans finally added to the screen now. Wait, I think it's actually attacking us. What? Don't actually attack me, Ekans. Don't. He's actually trying to attack me, dude. We have a health bar for some reason. I guess Pokemon can actually hurt us. Oh boy. Big milker time. Big milker time. This must be like a farm or something because there's like Tauros everywhere and now there's like mill tanks everywhere too. Some weird stuff going on here. This just exploded or something. We got Gengar and we got Kadabra added to the Pokedex now. See look they're doing like actual attacks and stuff. Are they fighting? We're gonna get a little closer. I hope I don't scare them away. Oh I jumped really high. I jumped really really high now. Alright we're up here with the Gengar and stuff. What? Oh, there's actually people here. And they're helping them. The champs are helping them. Collect pumpkins. Can I take a picture of this dude? He's kind of handsome looking. All right, I made it into this farm area. Let's check this place out. That windmill looks super cool, dude. Everything just looks super cool. Look at all this. These Pokemon are just living here with this human, and he's just checking it out. I wonder if I can talk to this guy. Hey, what are you doing on my farm? Oh, a camera. I see. I miss one of those creepy fellas. I guess you can use the creepier powers for good since you're here. My crew and I just started using some social media. We're in need of some hip happening shots. Can you get one photo of each of us working and a wide shot from all the way over on that mountain range up there? Okay, it shouldn't take that long. Plus, you were on creeping around unannounced. I think you owe me. Plus, Miner here has a barrier up till you get this done. I found this grappling hook in the Wildlands a few days ago. If you finish this, I can trade you a few shots. What do you say? All right, so we can do a quest for this dude. And all we gotta do is... He's even got a little far fetch working for him. Dude, this is awesome. Look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool. Let's see if we can get some good shots here. We got a picture of Machoke. Oh no. Now there's a Mr. Mime. And he's doing mime stuff. He's doing mime stuff. He's put up a whole barrier around this area. Mr. Mime, what do you want from me? What do you want? There we go. Parasect has been taken a picture of and added to our Pokedex. That's a cool looking Pokemon to see walking through the forest though. It's like a 
especially forest E Pokemon, so it's cool to see it. Vulpix, dude, it looks so good next to these red flowers. This is actually a super cool Pokemon. I love looking at this thing. Holy crap, a Jolteon just spawned right in front of me, too. Jolteon. Alright, dude, we're getting so many Pokemon on the Pokedex. What in the world? I just noticed that there's like a crazy looking like thing up there. What is that? A Kingler? Alright, we want water Pokemon. We gotta go up there. Alright, this looks like a Kingler. Some kind of like 5G radio satellite or cell phone tower or something. I have no idea, but let's hope there's water Pokemon up here. I just want to find like a, a lake or something. Oh yeah, there's a blaze again. We gotta get some sick shots of that. Ooh. There's a Scyther flying in the sky, baby. It's doing some kind of weird flight formation, probably some kind of mating ritual. Wildlands West. Um, and this looks kind of dark in here. Wonder what this is. Oh, it's like a fast travel area. All right, press G. Okay, so there's like multiple areas you can explore in this game. That's pretty cool because it's like, I didn't know if I was just like one big wild open area, but I guess that you got to go to other areas. It took me a long time to walk to this. You guys have no idea how long it took me to walk over here. All right, looks like we made it to a um, another area and there's a lot of Kangaskhan's over here. It's pretty amazing. All right, I'm pretty sure there is a big secret over at the waterfall and we're going to make our way over there. Oh, there's a bunch of little Cubones running around. Probably because their mom's dead and they don't have a mom. Ducklets everywhere! There's ducklets everywhere! Alright, we have made it to the top of the waterfall. There's some kind of shrine here. And I think there's a secret that's in the waterfall. We gotta wait for it to come out, though. Come out. Oh, waterfall guardian. Are you inside the waterfall or what? I guess he doesn't really want to come out. <gasps> there he was! There's the Gyarados! We've seen it. I, I barely missed it. But we got a picture of it, at least. Okay, we can actually look at past photos here. This is one of the photos that I got. And this is of my Gyarados, dude. This thing looks amazing. Oh, and I just realized we actually have objectives here. Um, in Pokemon, we got to scan. We got to scan three pages. We scan one. And I didn't realize that there's just all these different Pokemon that you have to actually scan and get so many of them on the Pokedex or whatever. Somehow we got a Dragon's Fang. I'm not sure what that's for. We've got some... Oh, okay, what? We got some different camera items. We got filter. Different filters, I guess. The manga filter. I'm gonna try that one out. Okay, so this filter makes everything look kind of weird. Don't really like it at all. Let's try out the other filter too. We got a vintage filter, which might be pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of like this filter, at least. Just wish we could get a vintage picture of this Gyarados coming out. That'd be a pretty... Look at that photo. That's actually a decent looking photo. Come on, Gyarados. Come on out of there. We're getting money every time we take a picture of this Gyarados. Can we just keep taking a picture of the same Gyarados and that count for the Pokedex? Okay, that lens flare is because of my, my screen. So, okay, I had to cl actually clean my screen to get a better picture. Oh, dude, there's a Krabby over there. That's pretty cool. Your boy's T-posing. Your boy is T-posing. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this, there is a link down below in the description where you guys can actually check out this game for yourself. And wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? That's not a Pokemon. That is a Digimon. There's literally a Digimon in this game. What in the world? Anyways, as I was saying, <laughs> this Digimon is just attacking all the Pokemon. As I was saying, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment. As always, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.